Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplication and division, specifically how we can solve problems that require two steps that use multiplication and division, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we have a simple word problem here on the screen, and we've got a few numbers hidden in the problem that are in word form rather than uh, numerical form or standard form. But we have Charles, he's going to buy five packages of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm just going to draw five little squares. Those are going to be my Yu-Gi-Oh packages. And then seven packages of Pokemon cards. So I'm just going to draw seven squares down here. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's always good to draw a picture when you are trying to solve multi-step problems. Each package, there's our number, has six cards so if you want you can just put a six inside each of these your question is going to be how many cards did charles buy well if i wanted to i could just add all of these sixes for repeated addition but this is actually a multiplication problem how many sets of six do i have well, i've got five up here and then i've got seven down here so that's 12. so what i need to do is i need to add five plus seven and then I need to multiply that by 6. So that means I need to do 12 times 6. That might be a fact that you know. If not, we could do a little 2 digit by 1 digit multiplication. I'll do that over here. So 2 times 6 is 12. We're going to carry that 1. 6 times 1 is 6. Add that 1 back in, 72. So our answer is going to be 72 cards. Let's look at another example. Now we have a new problem. We have five classrooms competing against each other. Each classroom is going to send uh, eight of their best players to a tournament, and then players will compete in squads of four at that tournament. So how many squads? So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the squads of four. The question is, is how many students are going to be? We're going to need to figure that one out first. So we've got five classrooms competing against each other. So I'm just going to put five boxes. And we're going to pretend that each of these boxes represents a classroom. So I've got five of these classrooms. And each classroom is going to send their eight best players. Okay, So that's going to be eight, 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 and eight. So if I wanted to, I could do repeated addition. Or I could do a little bit of multiplication. Let's figure out how many players we have. I'm going to do five groups of eight. Five times eight. And that's going to be a fact that I know that's 40. So I've got 40 players right now. Because what's going to happen is those 40 players are then going to compete in squads of four. So if 40 is my total, then I need to break that up into four equal squads. I'm going to draw a little strip diagram right here. 40 is my total. So I need to break that 40 up into four equal groups. So 40 divided by four equal groups. Well, that's going to be another fact. That's going to get me 10 in each group. So if I've got five classrooms with eight students from each, I can put those into 10 squads of four. Let's look at one last example. So for our final problem, we have a school taking a field trip to a museum. And we've got three numbers here. We've got 12 boys, 18 girls, and then I guess there's six teachers supervising. And then we need to put those into vans, and each van can hold a total of nine people. So you know what? We're actually going to have to add this first. We're going to have to take, if we were to take and kind of draw a little strip diagram right here, if we were to take our 12 our 18, then our 6. We've got to add that up to see how much that is. So that's going to be 12, 18, and 6. So that's going to be 10, 16, 1, 2, 3. So that's 36. So I've got 36 people, and each fan can hold a maximum of 9. So let's see how many times 9 can go into this 36. So if I'm going to draw this as a strip diagram, I'd make it look like this. How many nines can go into 36? So I'm going to say 9 times what equals 36? If I don't know that, I can flip around to say 36 divided by 9 equals that blank. Either way, the answer is going to be 4.